Right, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can create our own portable Windows USB flash drive. Now, we're going to be using Windows 10 for this, and uh, basically, it's going to allow you to run Windows uh, 10, in this case, uh, on a USB flash drive. So this is not going to be um, a USB installer. It's going to be an actual portable uh, Windows USB flash drive. Now it's always best to try and do this on an external drive if you can it will be a bit faster than using a USB flash drive but the uh, video request was for a USB flash drive so we're going to be using a USB uh, flash drive in this case. Now you're going to need a couple of things here. You're going to need to get yourself a piece of software and uh, this piece of software is pretty good it will uh, do the job for you it's called Win to USB and uh, we're going to be using this uh, in this video. Now you're also going to need a copy of Windows uh, 10. In this case, we're going to download the tool. I've already done this. So you download the tool and then you go through the uh, motions and download the ISO file. So you don't want to create a USB flash drive. You want to download the ISO file. Once you've got that, uh, you should have all these files inside your folder, which is your work folder. Uh, the creation tool, which we downloaded our ISO from, our Windows 10 ISO which I've already downloaded as you can see uh, it's about three and a half gigs and also we've got the Win2 USB uh, free version here okay now we've also got our USB flash drive plugged in it's called Win10 USB that's what I've got it here as and all we need to do now is fire up our Win2 USB so I'm just going to click on this and uh, you can select your language here. There's numerous different languages that you can use. I'm going to use English. Click OK and uh, accept uh, the agreement. Uh, you can read through here if you want to uh, to make sure everything's OK for you. Click Next. And I'm going to install this on the C drive here. I'm going to leave that as is. Click Next. And uh, you can create a desktop shortcut if you wish. And then we're going to install. finish and you can see what the free version offers against the professional and enterprise level so basically it will tell you exactly what you can do and what you can't do uh, with your uh, free version so I'm going to open up the program here now okay so we're going to click OK here and uh, what we want to do here is click on the image file and uh, from here what we're going to do is click on this browse button so click on the browse button and we're going to select our ISO file. You can now see that it offers, uh, offers us uh, some selection here. We're going to choose the pro version here and you can see I am using uh, the 64-bit version. I'm going to click on next. Now we need to uh, select the destination disk. So we can see here we have uh, SanDisk Ultra, that's the USB flash drive that I've got plugged in here and uh, you can see here it's going to say Windows performance might be uh, impacted if you use a USB flash drive to create Windows to go workspace okay so you can see here we don't get this uh, version in the free version here um, so we're just going to go for the MBR version I don't think yes you can so you can either do the GPT uh, for UEFI and also you've got the uh, BIOS version here as well so depending on what version you want to go to you can't use this version on the free uh, version here so we're going to use this version here for now just to show you how you can go about doing it I'm going to click yes and it's going to now start to prepare our USB flash drive Next up, you can choose what area of installation mode you want, i.e. Legacy, VHD, or VHDX. It's entirely up to you here. Let's just uh, use Legacy mode here, and we're going to let this uh, continue to install this onto our USB flash drive. This takes a bit of time, so be patient. Depending on how fast your computer is and how fast your USB is, whether you're using USB 3.0 or, or 2.0. And that's the actual job now complete, as you can see. Now it does freeze on that screen, saying 100% here, that's normal. Um, but that's now completed. You need to change your BIOS boot up order to boot to that USB flash drive to make it 
uh, bootable uh, so it will boot to that device and if we look here we can see the files here these are the files that have been copied across uh, to that USB flash drive so once you boot up to that device you will have something looking like this now remember guys this is an actual portable Windows operating system not a, um, a Windows USB installer so you can't install Windows from this it's basically running Windows 10 on a USB flash drive as you can see here I'll show you in a second the internet works everything works just fine it's not the fastest in the world because it is running on a USB flash drive as you can see here uh, this is the one we just created and you can see it's just a, a USB flash drive so basically what you can do is set this up to run a portable uh, Windows disk uh, on a USB flash drive or an external drive I hope you enjoyed it guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys bye for now